everyone welcome back I hope you all are having a great day today we are going to do my second shop my stash video so I will link my original one in the description box and in a card up here somewhere but basically I'm sick of hoarding makeup I'm sick of buying new makeup I'm sick of trying to keep up with getting all the new things so I decided to start this little series of shop my stash I am going to take you along every three or four weeks with me and dig into my collection and we're going to pick out 10 or so items for me to really focus on using for the next few weeks. I also did do a get ready with me using most of these products. So if you want to see these products in action, let me know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys and talk to you kind of about the 10 things that I picked last month or in my first shop my stash. I'm going to tell you if I loved them, if I'm going to declutter them, if I need to use them more or if I need to throw them away, whatever. And then we'll go into my collection and pick a few new things. And I don't know, I had fun with this. I had a lot of fun using all these and I get ready with me too. I think that, I think that that's going to be I don't know, really helpful for me and for you guys too to see these products in action. So let's get started. No particular order. <laughs> um, this one is one that I'm going to pass on. This is the YSL Too Chiclot Blur Primer. I'm just going to give this sample size to my sister. It didn't do anything phenomenal. It didn't do anything bad to me. I just find that I have a lot of other primers. And uh, I think she'll really like to try this YSL one. So I'm going to give this to my sister. Like I said, it does blur. It does what it says, but it doesn't blow me away for the YSL price tag for sure. And then the next thing, let's talk about this. Uh, I'm keeping this baby and using it. I love these custom cover enhancer drops by Cover Effects. This is the color Celestial and it's gorgeous. It's the highlighter I have on today. Even though it looks crazy, you can still get a pretty natural look with it if you don't top it with a powder, which is what I've kind of been doing recently, just wearing these on their own. And I also like to mix these in with a more matte foundation, but I definitely highly recommend these and will be keeping them. So the next thing, let's talk about this liquid. This is a cream blush. And it's in the color 3, and it's by YSL. It's their Kissin' Blush. So you can use these on your lips. Ugh. Oh, her. You can use them on your lips, or you can use it on your cheeks. I prefer it. I've found in the past few weeks that I definitely prefer this product as a blush as opposed to a lip product, just because it's more... I, I don't know, it just works better. It doesn't really, it's not long lasting on my lips for some reason, but it is on my cheeks. So I'm definitely keeping this, but I don't think I'll use it for my lips anymore. And then um, let's talk about this bronzer. This is the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. I do have this on my cheeks today as bronzer. I think this is a good one that I'm going to reach for a little bit more in the winter time, just because it's a little bit softer. Um, I usually don't have a lot of color in the winter months, so this is a little bit lighter than a lot of my bronzers. It does pull a tad orange, but not orange. It, it pulls a tad warm, not orange though, um, but then, then most people, or then some people would prefer, but it doesn't really bother me. I mean, if you put it on with a light hand and just kind of warm up your face, it really works. It's a beautiful powder. And along with though that bronzer, I picked two of the Hourglass blushes. This one is in the color Diffused Heat, which is a pretty, kind of makes me think of coming in from playing in the snow. So this one I might pull back out more in the, you know, winter months, closer to maybe Christmas. But this one in the color Ethereal Glow, I just didn't reach for this. Um, I go through phases with this one. I kind of like this right here on the apples of my cheeks. But this past couple of weeks, I only reached for it once or twice. So, I don't know. I might end up giving this one to someone. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Now, the next item that I'm kind of so-so about with my last shot my stash was this Natasha Denona palette. This is the number two. I just can't with this. What is my problem? They're beautiful. They're beautiful eyeshadows. They create a really pretty look. I have this second shade right here all over my lid today. It creates a pretty 
pretty look. I'm just not blown away for the price tag. Um, I'm still on the fence with this one. Because I spent so much money on five eyeshadows, I want to love it. But this is another one I might think about giving away. This is hard. The only thing I'm for sure getting rid of is this YSL Blur Primer. But I just, I just wish I loved this more. That's it. Yeah. The eyeshadow palette that I thoroughly enjoyed this month in my Shop My Stash. This is the one I used in my um, Shop My Stash Get Ready With Me video. It's the Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay palette. I really, really liked using this this month. Um, I created kind of a funky look with it with this blue and this, this yellow gold down here. But I like doing goofy, crazy out off the wall things sometimes but this also creates a really pretty neutral look i know it's not for sale anymore you might can find it like on makeup swap facebook groups or maybe amazon or ebay or something but if you did happen to get this when it was on sale i know i went i think it went down to like 25 bucks um if you did happen to get this whenever it was available try to bust it out man because this is a really really good palette i really like it the next thing was this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Primer. Mine's in the color Y21, and I did use this month, this this month. I do like the formula. It is very very light though. Is this the lightest color? I don't know. If you're super porcelain, this would be a good highlighting color for you. But I'm just finding, I don't know. Recently, I haven't wanted that stark white bright highlighted under eye. So. Um, I like the formula of this, um, but I just, it's too light for me right now. It really is. I think this is another one that's going to work better in the winter months because I'll lose some of my color, which not that I have a lot anyways, but I might lose some of it. <laughs> the last thing was this Milani lipstick in the color Plum Rose. This is so good. I think Milani might be, man... Milani and Maybelline, their matte line, are some of the best lipsticks at the drugstore. This is so, so pretty. I think I wore it. I've been wearing this a lot on Snapchat a lot. I might have worn it in, um, actually, I wore it in that Get Ready With Me. It's just a really pretty color transitioning into fall. I really enjoyed it. I like the formula of these. Funny story about these Milani lipsticks is I tried a couple of them, and I loved them. I was telling Brad, my husband, about them, and he came home that day with, like, every color in the whole line of Milani lipsticks. Hello. Sorry. I really, really like this formula. I like this color. I highly recommend these from the drugstore. So, that is it for that little part of the Shop My Stash, kind of updating you guys on the products I picked on the last one. So, let's dive into the collection. Let's pick out a few new things to try. Let's pick out some old faithfuls, some stuff I'm kind of on the fence about. Let's just see what we can get. All right, let's go. So, first, start out with primers. I've been thinking about this Too Faced Hangover RX primer a lot just because it's been kind of cooler in Texas and my skin's needing some you know, I don't know, moisture, and this is a good moisturizing primer. So I think I'm going to pull this and use this. I think if I concentrate on using this over the next couple of weeks, I will finish this up. So this is one of my favorite primers of life. And then for concealers, um, man, this is my concealer and it's like uh, BB creams also. I don't know what. I think I'm just going to not pick a concealer this time. Gosh, this thing is so old. Y'all remember these? The Urban Decay. It's the correctors, but it's not a colored corrector. I need to try to use this. How can I use this? Maybe I can use this to like highlight the center of my face because I really don't like it under the eyes. So I'm going to pull this concealer and see if I use it. If I don't, I'm just going to toss it because it is getting really, really old. So this is my foundation drawer. I'm not going to pick a foundation because I recently just got this Estee Lauder foundation. It's the double wear, but it's the radiant one. I got this recently recently in a haul video and um, I want to do a review on this so I'm not going to pull another foundation just because I'm going to try to focus on using that product. 
I know I definitely want to pull from this drawer. This is like my single eyeshadows. It's my smaller eyeshadow palette up here at the front. And I just find myself not reaching in this drawer as much as I should. Like this, for example, this is the Laura Geller. It's a little six pan eyeshadow palette. I got this in a QVC um, special and I think I've only used it like twice. So I definitely want to pull this and use it. I also want to pick a single eyeshadow because I just, Am I alone? I just don't reach for single eyeshadows very much. And I should because I have a million of them. And if I'm not going to reach for them, I need to just get rid of them. But what is this? Oh, this is one of my favorite eyeshadows for the fall time. This is the MAC Shadow and Smoky Mauve. Matter of fact, I went to the MAC store the other day and I swatched this and I was like, oh, I remember that. I didn't buy it, obviously, because I already have it, but I'm going to pull this out and try to play with it. I think it'll pair well with that Laura Geller little eyeshadow thing, but isn't that a beautiful color? Oh, so pretty. This bottom drawer is just a bunch of random palettes. Um, I have two palette drawers and this one's not very full. Do you guys remember this Too Faced palette? This is the Too Faced Love Sephora and it comes with like bronzers, a blush, and all these eyeshadows. I think I want to use this. I definitely am going to pull this palette. If you guys want to see me use this and get ready with me, I know because when people buy limited edition palettes they talk about it for like a month and then they never talk about it again so if you had this palette and you want me to do a look with it let me know but I'm definitely going to pull this to use this over the next couple of weeks and see if I still love it as far as blushes I have this blush drawer which is more high-end blushes and then I have this blush drawer which is more drugstore blushes let's see so I think I want to get a pull a couple of blushes from my drugstore blushes here. Um, I never hardly reach for these Jordana blushes. I don't know why because they are so good for the price. This is the one I use all the time if I do use it. It's called Sunlit Bronze. But let's pick one that I don't use. That way I can see if I want to keep them. What color is this? Sweet Honey. That's really pretty. The lighting is kind of funky right now, but. I don't think I've ever used this blush, you guys. So I'm definitely going to pull this one and let's pick one more kind of drugstore blush that I haven't reached for for a while. Let's do this one. This is the Flower Beauty Duo. This one is in the color BD2, uh, Gloriously Golden. And I'm, I'm gonna use this one because it has this bronzer in it too. So I wanna see if I can get use. Both of these blushes, if I don't fall in love with them, I'll probably declutter them. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. And I have been thinking about that wet, here it is, that wet and wild reserve your cabana. I saw somebody do talk about it in a video and I was like, I used to love this product. So I want to pull this out and see if I can get use out of it. From what I remember, it was just a product that kind of set your makeup and gave you like an overall glow. So I want to pull this out, use it, see if I love it. If not, I can probably declutter this this one as well. So let's head over and pick a couple lip products and then we'll be done. So I usually keep all of my lip products up here and then I have some along in that little container. Um, but I have pulled out some over here and put them in the top two drawers of this little case. So that I think that's what I'm gonna pick from. These are just lipsticks that I kind of wanted to start using more often. So you can see I have some in this top drawer and then I have a ton in this drawer and I don't know why I did this. I just decided to pick some lipsticks and put them in here. I don't know what my mind is thinking half the time, but um, let's pick a couple that I haven't used in a while. Uh, here's some of my Tom Ford lipsticks. I haven't used these in so long. Moroccan Rouge, that would be a pretty one for the fall. 
wouldn't it? Like for this time of year. Yeah, I think I'll pull that one, Moroccan Rouge. And then let me get, they're so, I get so overwhelmed with lip products. What is another one? Do you guys remember when these came out? These came out, I don't know, at the beginning of the summer. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. And what is this one in? Cabana Boy. I didn't really use this very much, so I think I'll pull that out and use it a little bit. So, those are my products for the next few weeks to kind of focus more on using. Let me show you them. There they are right there. So, <clears throat> like I did last um, time, I will be doing a Get Ready With Me using all of these products so you can see them in action. And then I'll update you guys with what I'm going to get rid of, what I'm going to keep, what I fell in love with again. Um, I'll update you on the next Shop My Stash here in three or four weeks. Bye. Thanks for watching.